Well, since I've, I was a kid, you know, I've been fascinated with robotics and, and really who isn't. And when I met Gil and he told me about this project, I jumped at the chance of joining this world-class team of roboticists from MIT Media Lab, Georgia Tech, IDC. And I looked at their past projects, you know, Shimon, R, which these are amazing robotics achievements. And I saw this Shimmy project is just a natural evolution of that robotics DNA. Our first robots were designed to listen to musicians, understand the music, then improvise and give accompaniment automatically. We took this huge robot uh, with all these mechanical abilities and tried to commercialize it as a smaller iPhone cloud-based robot in the shape of Shimmy. And it doesn't just play your music, it actually listens to it and enjoys it as much as you do. We want to push the envelope and show the world that robots are not only repetitive mechanical machines, but actually intelligent, musical, expressive, and actually creative. In a way, Shimi started out as an animated character on the screen, where we worked to try to nail down his personality, and then we took that and transformed that into the real world. It was important to us that Shimmy be able to work as a great loudspeaker. So we worked to combine high quality drivers and amplifiers with the smoothest, most quiet motors available. Inside the robot, we're taking care of all the low level uh, control of the motion, but all of the personality and intelligence, really the heavy lifting is being done on the smartphone end. Shimmy, look at me. Do you have Justin Bieber? <laughs> Do you have hot chocolate? Let's hear it. And one of the things that's really cool about that is that if you upgrade your smartphone and gain new capabilities, you're actually giving new capabilities to your robot, too. It also learns you. It looks at you, so it knows if you like a song or don't like a song. It can develop its own uh, understanding of your musical liking and personally become your musical buddy. Ready to follow me, Shimmy? The real challenge in this project is taking an academic research robot that costs $2,000 to make, it's $2,000 worth of components, and even more if we actually calculated the PhD labor that went into building this thing. And taking that cost and getting it down to just a few hundred bucks so that a consumer, an everyday consumer like you or me, could enjoy this in their home. No more it can.